What's up YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth. Today we are going to do another unboxing video and this week we are doing the Dream Sequence Jason from Friday the 13th Part 5 A New Beginning. So let's get him off of this shelf and get him out of that box. <laughs> That's the new shelf that I put up the other day for my NECA figures. And here is the Jason that we are going to be doing today. All right, let's get to it. All right, first and foremost, as always, I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. All right, let's see what we're working with here. There's the front of the box. Sides of the box are both the same. Back of the box, Jason laying in the rain. Jason holding an axe, Jason holding a machete, Jason, who the hell's Jason? Jason holding a machete, and there's the, uh, the mask that is on the movie poster, and that mask is actually even included in the figure itself. <coughs> Pardon me. Never understood that mask. That mask doesn't make an appearance in any of the Friday the 13th movies, so I was always curious as to why it made it to the movie poster. Just dawned on me now that this mask that's on the front of this box is also different. Let's see, I guess maybe that's supposed to be the little triangle there, but it's very difficult to make out that that's actually what it is. Whatever. All right, let's get him out of the box. All right. I like Friday the 13th Part 5. It's definitely a movie that I didn't like initially, but it, uh, it grew on me over time. I know that I didn't like it initially because if Jason was not actually the killer in the movie. There's a better picture of what we got. We have a axe, a machete. I'm not exactly sure what that is. There's another hand, a tombstone, a dirty hockey mask, a bloody hockey mask, the hockey mask from the movie poster. And he is also wearing a, yet a fourth hockey mask that is the one that he's got on when he it has been buried, when he's coming out of the grave. It's got worms and aging and dirt on it. So I know that uh, I definitely was not initially a fan of this movie when it came out because Jason is not the killer in the movie. Um, but over time, like I said, that movie, this movie grew on me. And I have no doubt it's because of the later movies in the series. Not, uh, me not being a particular fan of the movies that come later in the series. Um, I do like Jason Lives. Here comes some noise. I do like Jason Lives. Um, I sort of like The New Blood. Um, but I'm not crazy about that movie. I definitely do not care for Jason Takes Manhattan, or Jason Goes to Hell, or Jason X. I've just never been a fan of those movies. Uh, I've watched them numerous times. They never get better for me. They always seem to simply get worse for me. I have a harder time watching those as time goes on. Uh, but this movie wasn't bad. I mean, after I gave it a shot and, and I got over the initial shock that it wasn't Jason Voorhees in the movie as the killer, excuse me, the movie kind of grew on me a little bit. It is a good movie. There are some pretty good kills in that movie. Um, another thing that I'm not real nuts about with that movie, though, is the uh, older portrayal of Tommy Jarvis. Uh, a lot of people seem to like that guy. I really was not crazy about him. I would have been happier if they were able to get Corey Feldman to come back and uh, continue that role. I did like Corey Feldman as him in part four. All right. Better look at the tombstone. That's actually pretty cool. It's just uh, some dirt. Uh, tombstone made out of wood with spray paint on it. It's even got some detailing on the back. Pretty neat. I think um, Corey Feldman was filming uh, Goonies, if I'm not mistaken, 
And if it wasn't Goonies, he was contractually obligated to, some, to be somewhere else, which is why he could not do uh, Friday the 13th Part 5. I definitely would have preferred him. I'm not the biggest Corey Feldman fan in the world either. I mean, he's all right. He's been in a few movies that I definitely enjoy, my favorite being Goonies. Uh, I do like The Lost Boys as well. Um, but my, oh, you know what, my favorite actually has to be Friday the 13th Part 4 now that I'm thinking about it. But next to Friday the 13th Part 4, it would be Goonies. And like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of his in the world, but I would have preferred he be in Friday the 13th Part 5 over that other dude. I don't remember what his name is. Alright, so let's get into some of the weapons. He comes with a machete. Of course he does. Every Friday the 13th figure should come with a machete. And then there is the double-sided bloody axe. Pretty neat. Pretty detailed. If I could get it to focus better, it would be a wonderful thing. There is the alternate hand that was <clears throat> split. And if I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> Friday the 13th Part 4 is when he had his hand get split. And then there is this thing that I'm not sure, I mean, it looks like an ice pick, but I'm not absolutely positive. I believe that that's what that is. Can't imagine what else that would be. But if that is an ice pick, and you compare it to the size of the machete, that's a pretty big ice pick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I have to keep clearing my throat. And let me get the three heads. So those are all pretty cool. This is definitely the one that I prefer. I think that looks awesome. This one's kind of cool just because it's in here. You know, I, I, I like that mask, but it definitely does not appear in any of the movies. This is, this is easily, hands down, my favorite of the masks. So that's the one that's going to go on him when I uh, display him. Let's take care of that now. Headless Jason. I really hope eventually they do another Friday the 13th movie. I know that there's been all kinds of crap going on. Legal stuff. I wish they would just get that figured out and give the fans another movie that they want. You know, I think I'm actually going to also put his split hand on him. Display him with that. There's the split hand. He's not very bendable. He's got a joint there, but that joint doesn't want to bend. There it goes. And I will put the axe in his hand. I believe when Tommy looks out the window at Jason when he is in the psych ward or the psychiatric home, he sees Jason standing outside and I believe he is holding that axe. So that's how I'll pose him. Keep his hand down to the side. All right. So I guess that's about how I'll just I'll pose him on the shelf. <clears throat> I'll put him on the shelf with the axe, the split hand, the bloody mask, and the tombstone. All right. There he is. Friday the 13th dream sequence, Jason.
So that's going to do it for this week's unboxing video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you have been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor and click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, have a kick-ass day, and thank you for watching.